Hello everyone, this is Santesh Kalada. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can post a Nathan on HitSnap Cloud. Okay. So this is one of the most easiest tutorials to host a Nathan and we would be using something known as Spoonify to, to host the Nathan. So let me quickly begin with the tutorial. First go to console.hitsnap.cloud. Register for a free account and once you log into your account, you will be greeted with a screen like this. So first you have to create a new project. So click on create project. So in Nathan tutorial. So I'll create a new project. So it just takes maybe more five to 10 seconds to create a new project. So I'll wait for this to be over. So now the project creation is over. So once your project is created, just click on Nathan tutorial. And here you have an option for create resource. And before I show you this whole process, let me just tell you something. So if at all any of you find this troublesome or if you, if you find that you're taking a lot of time to set this up, I just want to let you know that if you want, my team can set this up for you for $25. So if you want my team to set up a Nathan on your Hetzner Cloud account, you can just submit your information using the form in the description. Okay. But anyway, those who are technical or those who want to do this by themselves, this is how you do it. So just click on create resource and click on servers. And here you have an option to create the server. So I'll just choose the uh, default one Helsinki. And once you go down here, you have an option called OS images. So instead of choosing an OS image, I'll choose the option here. You have something known as Coolify. Coolify is something that will make the process of a native installation very much easier. And it's not just a native any GitHub project, you can install it using Qualify. So I'll just click on Qualify. And here you can select any option. For now, I'll select this one. And this option looks good, CX11. So 4 GB, 40 G, 4 GB RAM and 40 GB memory, 20 GB traffic. That's more than enough. And just to show you the rates, this is how much it would cost you, $4.59 per month. See, compared to how much money you are going to make with N8, this is just peanuts. So coming down, everything looks good. There's no need to change any of this. Go down, go down. And here is the server. Just click on create and buy now. So if you're using your N8 account, sorry, if you're using your Hetzner Cloud account for the first time, it might ask you for your card details. But otherwise, it will go for the creation process. So this creation process would hardly take some three to five minutes. So I'll post the video for now. Now our server is created. So if I just click on the server, it will show you the server details. Now we need to see, even though we have chosen Qualify, it's not yet installed. To install, what you have to do is you just have to log into the console once and the installation will automatically take place. And to log into the console, you need the root password. So this root password would be already mailed to you. So I have already created the server. Let me just quickly see here. I have received an email from Hetzner showing yeah, Username is root and password is this one. So I'll just copy this one. Next, I'll go to the uh, Hetzner cloud. And here you have an option to access the console. Just click. So this is the cloud. So it is asking for the login details. So I'll just click on root, click enter. And for password, typing the password would be hectic. So what I would recommend is like just right click and paste. And please note that control V does not work here. Okay, so just right click and click on paste. And then press enter. And it will ask you to change your password immediately. So again, it is asking for the current password. So this is the current password. And after that, click enter and new password. So yeah, I have given a new password. Now, as you can see, the installation process has automatically started. So it might take somewhere around maybe three to five minutes for this installation to be complete. So let's wait for this installation to be complete. Now, as you can see, the installation process has completed. So it's showing me my server ID. See, please visit 
this particular URL and the port number to get started. Okay. So I'll write it down somewhere. And yeah, with that, the Coolify installation is just done. So I'll just uh, close this. And please note this, there is a URL and there is the port number. You should enter that only then you will be able to access your Coolify. I'll close this for now. Now I'll go and access my website. Now see here. I have just accessed the website and if you are accessing it for the first time, it will ask you for a name, email, password. Okay. So you have to create, create an account. So I'll create my account. And I'll give a random password. Perfect. Oh, password should have a symbol. I'm sorry. Perfect. Now I have created an account. Okay. Now it's asking me, welcome to qualify. All of those looks good. So click on get started. Click here next. And here choose the option local host. Yeah, so that is pretty much to create a new project and let's do it. Now I guess it will be creating, see here. It has already created my new project. So if you want to change the name, just click on settings and give it a Nathan project. Now if you go to projects, just click on this project. Now you have an option to add a new resource. So click on add new resource. Now here, all you have to do is just search for N810. So you just select this option, N810. And now you can move to the installation. But before installation, I would recommend one more thing. You have to purchase a domain which you can connect with your N810 account. So go to your maybe name sheet, purchase a domain name. See if you are purchasing a .xyz domain, it would hardly cost you one to two dollars. So I have purchased a domain like that. And once you have purchased the domain, next step what you have to do is, see you have to copy this IP address from our Coolify. That is go to your Hetzner account, select your server, see here, select your server and copy this IP address. Then go to the, in my case, I have purchased it from Namecheap. So from my domain uh, domain list, I have selected that domain. And here under advanced DNS, we need to add a record for that. Okay, Because in future, if you're using a native and if you are connecting it with uh, applications like Gmail, Google Calendar, all those stuff, you need to add some, add, have a domain. Otherwise, you'll run come across HTTPS issues and stuff. So all you have to do is add two A records, okay? So here, just click on add record. In my case, I have already added the record. So two, two A records, so click on A record. So first one should be star and the IP address of your server. And second one should be again an A record and it should host should be at and once you are done make sure that you are clicking on this particular save changes button okay so once that is done all you have to do is again go back to your qualify so i guess uh, yeah this is my qualify and in qualify you need to go to the settings and under settings you have to give your domain name here so i'll give my domain name here dot xyz so i have given my domain name here and after that click on save button okay. now one more change you have to do again it's not compulsory that you should do this one but in future also it will help you that is in future also whenever you are creating more projects or more servers here it will always give a subdomain okay so to get a subdomain just go to servers and select the local host and here just select the wildcard option okay and give your domain name here okay and now click on save so that is done okay 
So again, please note that if you are giving this IP address, if you are changing this DNS for the first time, this integration might take some time, hardly 5 to 10 minutes of time. So please wait for that configuration to be completed. So how do you know if the integration is complete? See, if your integration is completed once, see, if you can just go to your website like this, okay? If you just type your website, you will be greeted to a screen like this, okay? So now I am, I have typed kaleda.xyz and I have been greeted with Coolify. That means that integration is complete. So I'll just log in. So that is done. Now we have the N810 project which we have already created earlier. Now again we have an N810 instance and again if you don't want to use that again I'll just delete that and show it to you from the scratch. So let me just quickly delete this one. Perfect, that is deleted. So as you can see, we have a project. I have clicked on the project and now I'll click on add new resource. And here I'll search for N810, select N810. And now as you can see here, See here, now my DOM, whatever my NATN will be hosted here as a subdomain in my domain. This Kalada.xyz, it is my domain name and NATN would be hosted here. If I want to make this look good, so what I'll do is, I'll just type NATN1 and click on save. Okay. So with that, everything is done. Now all you have to do is just click on the deploy button. So it's actually deploying a data to our server. So again, it will take some maybe one to two minutes of your time. So we wait for this to be completed. Perfect. Now the installation has completed because as you can see at the bottom, you can see container in data started. So that means that the installation is complete. Now, if the installation is complete, see, you will be able to access N810 here. Okay. So you need only till here, even if there is a port number here, you can ignore that because you don't need port number to access your N810. So now I'll again open a new tab and type this. Here. So N810.kalera.xyz. Now, if you're using your account for the first time, it will ask you to create an account in N810. So just create an account here in any. So I'll give my name, last name, and a random password. Okay. Now the main benefit here is that Coolify will automatically manage the SSL installation and everything for you. So all you have to do is click on next here, and it will ask you some basic details, something random. Because it doesn't matter, okay. Whatever you give here, it doesn't matter. Now again, it will ask you get paid features for free. I would recommend that you do this. Say again, you don't need to pay anything. Just submit your email address and click on send me a free license. So it has actually sent you the free license key, and then see here, head over to the usage and plan. Okay. So you can just click the link here, otherwise just click here, settings, then you have usage and plan, okay. And here you have an option to enter the activation key. So you would have already received your activation key in your email. So let me quickly search here, see here. I have actually received my activation key. So I'll just copy this and paste it here. See here. Even now you do not have any restriction on the number of workflows you can create. So with this, your N810 installation is completely done. So I know that this tutorial took almost 15 minutes, but again, that's because I was explaining a lot. If you're doing it by yourself, you could complete this in 10 minutes time. So now if you're still facing any issues, you can just let me know in the comment section below or 
you can just if you want my team to install it for you you can just fill the form in the description okay so thank you and have a great day